Mridula Baska and welcome back to my channel Nru's Makeover Studio. So today I've created a very very beautiful feminine makeup look for all of you. It's a sparkly pink eye makeup look which is very very wearable for any function or anywhere when you're stepping out you can always wear this kind of a look. If you want to know how I got this look and the details on what I'm wearing today then keep on watching the video. But before we jump into the video, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I post a video. Henceforth, I'm going to be posting videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays at 9am so you can always stay tuned for more and more makeup looks and collections from Rose Makeover Studio. Now without wasting any time, let's jump into the video. First up, I'm going to moisturize my face. I'm going to take the Avino moisturizer. I have mentioned in my previous videos as well. It's one of my favorite moisturizers. So for the primer, I want to go with something natural, something very very hydrating and something which is going to give a, you know, a very dewy finish to my skin. So I am using the Natural Radiance Primer by MAC. This is a small travel size bottle which I carry when I go to do makeup for my clients. So I have a little bit left in that, so I thought why not just use up the product and not waste it. This is one of the best primers for dry skin. Next up for the brows, I'm going to be using the pomade by Cabrow, which is from Benefit. It's a very famous product and it's one of my favorite products as well. So it comes with a small brush like that, which you just need to stick into the cap so it becomes like a brush. This has got a very nice pointed tip, so I like this product a lot. I'm going to use the same brush. I'm not doing too much with my brows, I'm just filling in the sparse areas. Next up, I'm going to use an eye primer. Today, we're going to go in for a very soft look. So we need to use the shimmer directly on the eye. So when you use an eye primer, it will sort of sit really well on the eyes. So I'm going in with the canvas shadow primer from PAC. It's a very, very nice eye primer. I'm putting a little bit of that on the lids. Taking a brush and sort of blending it out. I'm first up going in with this rose shade in the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. It's called Rose Pink. I'm picking that up in my flat brush and I am patting that all over my lid. So there you go, I put the shade Rose Pink on both my eyelids. So next up, I'm going in with the shade Dusty Rose and I am going to use it in my crease to blend out the shimmer. Next up, I'm going in with this peachy white shade called Tempera and I am going to go in the upper crease and just Blend it out. So once that's done, I'm going in with a kajal into my waterline and tight line. I'm picking the black from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette with a very, very small blending brush. So I've zoomed you out and spotted the foundation on my face. For the foundation, I've gone in today with the Pack HD foundation. I have mixed two shades, 2.7 and 1.9 because I've run out of my shades. So I have mixed two shades over here. So today for the concealer, I'll be going in with the Pack Spotlight Concealer. Thank you. 
The concealer is blended out. Now I'm gonna bake my face. I'm using the Huda Beauty Easy Bake. So I just use the wet beauty blender and press the product into my skin so that it doesn't you know look streaky or patchy. I want my skin to be very very flawless. I come from the dry skin family so using too much of powder is not going to do any good. For the contour I am using the Contour de Force palette in the shade Woody Wonder 02. For the blush today, I'll be using the Kali Kissed palette by Smashbox. I'm going in with this pink shade over here. Next up, I'm going to use a compact powder. This is the Studio Fix compact powder in the shade 35 to highlight my face. For the highlighter, I'm using the same palette as the blush, the Smashbox palette that I used. I'm going in with this gold shade with my fan brush. So for the lips today, first I'll be going in with a lip liner to line and fill my lips. This is the MAC lip liner in the shade Royally Flushed. So for the lips, I'm going to be mixing two shades. One is Mishti, another one is Rukmini from the Nykaa Liquid Lipstick range. So before I move on to the eyelashes, I'd like to do the bottom part of my eye. So I'm going in with the same shade Dusty Rose. I'm taking this dark brown shade over here from the same palette and I'm going to use it in the outer corners of my eye. For the lashes, I'll be using the Revlon Ultra Volume Mascara. It's a very nice lengthening and uh, volumizing mascara. I'm done with the mascara. For the lashes, I'm going to be using the Iconic London Lashes. This is in 150D. As a final step, I'm going to be setting my face with the Makeup Fixing Spray by Pack. So yes, my dear friends, that was today's makeup look. It is a very simple, subtle, beautiful makeup look which I enjoyed making for all of you. I hope you all enjoyed watching it too. So to talk about what I am wearing, I am wearing a Kundan earring today. It's got original pearls, onyx stone and it's a Kundan set. So it's got polky stones as well and uh, two elephants over there. All these are original pearls. So this earring costs 4000 rupees and it is from Rose Makeover Studio. If you would like to pick it, don't forget to comment in the comment section below or you can DM me on Instagram and I'm going to send you all the details. And before you log out, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I post a video. I love you all. Take care. Bye-bye.